Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Today it's time for something different but still familiar because today I will be reacting to another song from last year's participant of the Eurovision Song Contest from Armenia. If you're just here to see this song from Prunet, check out the timestamp because there you can skip forward because right now I'm going to talk about my daily life as always. Yes! Okay, so as you can already see, I am in my bed. I have just showered and it is already, yeah, close to 9 p.m. It is a Sunday for me, so basically the same preparations as every Sunday, cleaning, making food for the week. This time I made some spaghetti bolognese, so meat sauce, always great. I love it, but I really feel like I should start looking into recipes or get something new because I really, really am very very yeah narrow in my cooking recipes so and especially i'm not really skilled in making things with sauce you know i always put tomato sauce as a ground as a fundament and then yeah i make something out of it but because it's tomato sauce it always basically tastes like tomato right i have to interrupt this daily life monologue right now because i've just realized that this is the 200th day I have been living in Sweden already. These 100 days from 100 to 200 went by so fast. I couldn't even imagine that it's already 100 days later. But because this kind of catched me off guard, I am not doing anything specific in this 200th day thing about my daily life. But I will definitely do another recap of these 100 days that I have now passed on Saturday's video so I will even open up my pro con list from the last 100th day video and I will compare maybe something has changed maybe I have to include things on the pro con list of living in Sweden but the recap is coming on Saturday okay but now let's continue LJ of the past so I really have to figure out other types of sauces but that is okay for now I still have yeah many years to come Maybe I also will, yeah, try this HelloFresh thing again. I tried it out already, I think like two or three times when I was studying in Germany. And I really liked it because, first of all, you just have different recipes and you always can try something new and you don't have to buy the stuff. Like, I really like going grocery shopping, but only when I know what I need and when I am familiarized with the things that I need. When I'm like looking for things that I've never bought before, I hate going grocery shopping. So, and that's of course like when you have a new recipe, you look for things, oh, nope, not my type of salad. Yeah. And besides that, well, today was actually a pretty, pretty lazy day. I have done my Swedish homework as always. I have cut the videos for today, basically. So on Sunday and Monday. And also I have yeah, just checked in all the insurance things that I have going on that I just don't forget paying those monthly things. And besides all those typical Sunday things, nothing too crazy has happened. I improved my breakfast though today because yesterday in the grocery store I found some fresh strawberries. I saw that the, the Yogi, the Swedish yogurt drink thing, was this was on discount and so i basically had a really great cereal with strawberries and some peanuts and then i also had some nice juice oh that was really great but yeah enough about food and about daily life now let's go into today's reaction let's go okay guys today i will be reacting to a prunette holiday nostalgia so in yesterday's video, I was finally listening to Future Lover again after at least eight months. And I was like, oh man, that is such a great song. And I want to see if Brunette has any other great songs. And I was skipping through them, like listening to small snippets. And Holiday Nostalgia was the one that gave me the best input just from those 10 seconds. So I want to see if I like it. Maybe in the end I will tell you like, ah, not my type of music. I don't know. So this is just a try and we will see how that goes. It is the official video. So yeah, just follow the flow. Let's go. Hey. 
Okay, I already like that. That vibe, if we can say it like this, very easy going. Okay, yeah. I like it. It definitely is more of a type of radio music. Okay, then we have a red part. Okay, the, well, it feels a bit for me like a mix of... Uh, do you know Katy Perry Kiss It Better? It kind of reminds me of that. And then the rap part reminded me of Nicki Minaj in a bit. Okay, now we have a change of language. Probably Armenian. Okay, I really like it, wow. Lovely, really, really awesome. Nostalgia, yes, that the title of the song describes the song pretty, pretty well. You know what I was thinking of when I was listening to the song? I was like really thinking like driving through the street of an American city close to the ocean. It is a late evening, but the sun is still setting, so it is not really pitch black. But it's also not fully bright anymore. And you're just vibing with friends maybe. Maybe you're like going to the beach on the evening. Or you're driving away from the evening. However, it also gave me this vibe of this not nostalgia. So basically like you being alone driving on these roads that you have so much memories on from the past. Oh man, I really like it. I really do like that song. It is, of course, a song that is dependent on the mood. I would not listen to this like to cheer me up. But if I am in a mood where I'm thinking a lot and I want to be in my head thinking about the memories of the past, this really, really is a great song for this. And I also like the rap part, even though like compared to Future Lover, this is not as much of my type of rap, but still great, great song. So... Bring it! Another thumbs up, another song from you in my Spotify playlist. Well, let's see if I can find any other songs. Okay, so that was my reaction for Brunette Holiday Nostalgia. What do you guys think about this song? Do you like it or do you think like, nah, not my type? Well, I actually have listened to this song now multiple times and I really can tell you, yes, this is a type of music that I'm listening to. So if you have any other cool songs from Brunette or other cool people from Armenia, feel free to include that in the comments. Maybe also some of the older Eurovision Song Contest participants from Armenia had great songs. Yeah, just write that in the comments. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. We're going to see each other back tomorrow. I don't know on which type of video tomorrow yet, but you are about to see that anyways. So have a good one. Bye bye.